Hello, now we are going to learn about how to create a storage bucket in Google Cloud Platform. Okay, so before going to the topic, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please do subscribe now. Uh, get into the topic, uh, you just go to the navigation menu and then go to uh, storage block uh, where it is exists. Okay, see the storage uh, have a different types of storages like file store, cloud store. Okay, so in the file store, we can have uh, instances, storage, and backups. We'll have now we are going to uh, uh, create a bucket. Okay, in the bucket, how do we store what type of files we are able to uh, store? that all we can see okay so you need to go to the cloud storage and then click on buckets okay uh, now we will see how to create a bucket in Google Cloud platform okay so now uh, just uh, try to create uh, here if you see click on create or else you if you just slightly come down here you can have a create bucket any option you can create both are same okay now uh, just click on create bucket if you see here we have lots of um, blocks are there for creating bucket you need to be careful uh, when you are creating bucket you need you need to uh, specify the reason regions where you are going to store the data and storage clashes and control access to the objects okay for this uh, pricing also is there that you need to observe here uh, the cost how much it is going to be okay per gb how much uh, you are going to pay uh, every month okay this all you need to observe clearly before going to create okay now see we are going to give a naming convention you need to follow clearly that don't include any sensitive information okay here uh, it should you have to pick it like a globally unique name okay which is a permanent name you shouldn't have already existing name okay so for that what I am going to give is a demo underscore bt learn which means best tech learn okay and bucket one okay hyphen one so this is the my name i am going to you globally unique name okay so here uh, based on your option selection the price of this uh, bucket will get vary okay the labels also there that it that is optional we will see it later on now we are going to create a simple bucket uh, just click on continue now it will go to the uh, next section that is choose where to store your data okay uh, if you see here um, it is like uh, see I told you right clearly this permanent choice defines the geographic placement of your data and affects cost performance and availability okay so here you need to select a location type or either it may be multi-region or dual region or a single region okay see here everything has a low latency highest availability and uh, across all the regions or uh, multiple regions or a single region okay uh, mainly why we are going for a GCP means it is a low latency and high availability okay so wherever you are going to access the data okay that is the reason you need to select here based on your uh, uh, requirement okay so here I'm going to select uh, multiple regions in Asia specific okay if you see here the cost is going to be very based on our selection of region okay now just trying to click on continue now this section this is very very important uh, it is purely dependent on your requirement see choose a default storage class for your data okay so default storage if you see four types of uh, storage classes are available okay if you want to store your data that is standard near line cold line and archive okay standard mainly uh, if you wanted to use any data uh, if you wanted to store any data for a short term then uh, if, then it is frequently accessible then you need to select standard okay uh, it is like a free not frequently it is like a less than a, I mean, a month once in a month if you wanted to access and you need to store it for a backup purpose then you need to store it as a near line okay if you wanted to uh, I mean just wanted to keep it as a backup and 
uh, whenever disaster recovery uh, happened that time you wanted to access your data once in a quarter then you have to go for a cold line storage okay uh, if you want it uh, for a long term purpose you want to store and only sometimes it is like not a frequently uh, once in a year if you wanted to access your data you have to select for archival okay so it is purely dependent on your client requirement uh, how how frequently you are going to accessing your data okay so either it may be uh, frequently access or once in a month or once in a quarter or uh, once in a year it depends on your requirement okay so you need to select a near line cold line archive okay, or standard okay so first of all i am using standard here you can if you want any other thing if you see based on your selection also the cost will get vary because frequent access means uh, you are using a server lot of time so that the cost will be high if you try to select a cold line then it is see uh, uh, i mean 0 0.007 per gb month okay okay and if you select archival it is less frequently you are accessing which means once in a year so it is a small amount okay you are going to uh, i mean pay for the gcp okay so now i am going to select standard for a demo purpose okay just click on continue and next section is choose how to control access to the objects okay if you wanted to prevent your data publicly accessible then you need to enforce public access prevention on this bucket should be enabled or else if you wanted to give your uh, data to the uh, public access then you have to uncheck this box okay uh, like uh, in a banking uh, if you wanted to see uh, the i mean customer uh, images like customer identity identity card uh, images those things if you wanted to prevent the uh, public access then you need to give this if you wanted to show the uh, i mean bank details like uh, bank um, any scheme details those kind of things if you wanted to show then uh, you can uh, uncheck this which means it has to show to the all the users okay it it is just a simple example based on your requirement you have to go it so as of now i'm just uh, uh, checking this public access prevention okay now access control is whether it may be uniform or fine grained what does it mean okay you can clearly hear uh see you ensure uniform access to the all the objects in the bucket by using only bucket level permissions okay this option becomes permanent after 90 days if it is a fine grained then specify access to individual objects by using object level permission in addition to your bucket level permissions okay as of now i am selecting fine grained for demo just click on continue now go to the choose how to protect object data okay it, it depends on your requirement purely again i can say okay as of now i am not giving any uh, protection just clicking on none because i don't have any sensitive information here okay now if you wanted to encrypt your data you just click on this block otherwise just click on create button okay create now uh, you see Uh, it, it will just again give a notification that this bucket is set to prevent exposure of its data on a public internet which means if you, whatever the data you are going to store it in your bucket which is not a public exposed okay it is a private yes i confirm that now the bucket is created okay see here this is our bucket demo bt learn bucket 1 okay if you wanted to store any any kind of data you can store like objects configuration permission protection life cycle okay this how to store a, uh, i mean objects into the bucket and how to delete a bucket we are going to see it in a next video so uh, if you are missing that video i'll paste this uh, next video link url in the description box as well you can directly go from here instead of searching in my channel okay uh, i hope you understood well about how to create a bucket and uh, how to i mean what are the types of storage classes available in bucket okay 
so thank you so much if you understood well uh, please do like and share subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye